everybody. I am in a first grade class today and I just wanted to show you a couple of the resources that I am using today. So <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a mini lesson on biographies. So she just has this little handy sheet that I can put up for the students. And one of the books here is a Lincoln, which I am reading today. So this is the book and it's supposed to have true facts about a Lincoln and be a biography. So that should be really interesting and I'm really excited to read it. So first grade biographies for you guys. <coughs> This is one of the sheets that's going along with it, just a little book report sheet and teaching the kids like how to you know, write a book report and focus on biographies and everything like that. It's supposed to get up to 17 degrees outside. It's supposed to be the high of the day. So I'm hoping that maybe we can get outside, have some fun, enjoy the warmer weather and everything like that. Okay, so it does not see the cat cake. All right, it is the end of the day and it was a little bit tough. Um, one student in particular, so here they have a way that the kids can go, like specific students can go and take a break if they need to and this was from this morning and he did not get any <clears throat> and I wasn't really prepared to kind of like handle that I thought it was just gonna be the one student who like I already knew coming into this classroom was tough and then she did fabulous like absolutely fabulous let me just show you what hers looked like so I have to make sure I cover her name but anyways Like, she got all thumbs up, and I was really proud, um, just knowing, like, her history and stuff. But this other student, I was not prepared to deal with. And, like, obviously as a sub, you kind of step into a classroom that you have no idea what's going on or, like, what's going to happen. So that was definitely the case today. And one student, like, just started bawling pretty much the whole day people don't like me and I was just like I, I don't know <laughs> like I didn't know how to deal with it and it's not funny I shouldn't laugh but like it's more of an awkward funny of like I just didn't really know how to deal with it and that for, was kind of so I don't know if I you guys, you guys advice should on, like, be able to that see bullying, this but or, I signed up for know, the big climb Minneapolis children kind of being depressed about 1, stuff and feeling like nobody likes them steps or something just, like that it's so hard for and me to deal with money it's kind of like the leukemia i don't know if it's actually like society, a kid being depressed so or i'm really excited about if they're that just like and um i'll try to get about attention that or something weekend, maybe. i'm not really sure i'll make a separate but, video or something yeah, so i don't know kind of tough. um and but yeah so i'm excited that's happening um, valentine's day is coming up so i feel like everybody is just kind of like um i don't know by the time you see this guys you like I might have already done it depends on when I can try to get this video up but yeah so I'm gonna end there I've been rambling on and I will see you guys tomorrow on the opposite end I will be in fifth grade but I get to talk to the teacher I'm going to be the long-term sub for tomorrow so I'm super pumped super excited and I'll catch you guys tomorrow bye happy Tuesday <laughs> I almost forgot what day it was um, I am in a fifth grade class today and I'm actually going to be in this fifth grade class all week and I'm excited they're a pretty good class they're really hard working and none of them have been like 
well, there was one girl who was like, you look like a teenager, but overall, I feel like they're being really respectful. I'm trying to use the games as kind of like a motivator of like, hey, you guys are working hard. I see that and I'm gonna give you a game to do. I also got my rice cake because it's delicious. I highly recommend these chocolate ones. They are so good. Um, but yeah, math this morning was an hour and a half and um, they were working really hard. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give them a game. So we played a game this morning. I had to go out for recess with them, which it is like 17 degrees outside. And I'm not really prepared for that because most schools, I don't go outside, so anywho, um, yeah, they're not really celebrating Valentine's Day here, but at Target, I did see a couple of little Valentines, so I might just give them the pencils, but they're little dog ones here, and then there's also some Star Wars ones that I found as well. They were like, um, it actually says they were $3 each. And I just got those to pass out for Valentine's Day. Um, so yeah, it's been really good. And the day is like pretty much almost over. The longest part of the day I think was probably math. And that one went really well. I'm gonna, I can tell that the literacy time where they need to do their reading is going to probably be a struggle all week. Just because it's kind of like they came back from recess and so it's that time before between recess and lunch so I feel like it's gonna be a little bit tough but otherwise um, it's going pretty good they did ask me to stay after because I guess this teacher does some things after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays so they asked if I would be willing to stay I would get paid extra and yeah so I am going to stay after until about four o'clock, which is actually when most of the other elementary schools around here get done. So I probably won't be able to talk that much after, but I can talk at specialist, which is actually at the end of the day anyways, and we probably won't have anything after that. So yeah, I'm just trying to be really kind. I just, that's the kind of person I wanna be. I like to be kind. Um, my biggest thing is about respect, and if they're doing their job, that's what's important to me. So yeah. Um, I think I'm going to sign off, but I don't really have anything super interesting. Oh, the one thing I wanted to share, uh, hold on, um, number one, we're reading Where the Red Fern Grows as our read aloud. Now, we won't be reading it today though because we're actually doing something else kind of during that time. And then the other thing, let me see here. So really cute, you guys can find this online. It's Roll a Valentine Story. And basically the, what's going to happen is that the kids are going to get with a partner. They're going to roll a dice with their partner and it's gonna give them a character, a setting, and a problem. And then they have to write a story about it. They're going to have three days. And then on Friday, we're going to share them and kind of vote on the best story. That's kind of his lesson that he left for me. So I'm kind of excited to see what they come up with. Um, anywho, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch and I'll talk to you guys later. Happy Wednesday, everybody, and happy Valentine's Day. Um, I didn't get to finish filming yesterday or I didn't get to finish like my update last night because their specialist is right at the end of the day and then then the day's over. So it was quite odd yesterday. Um, I kind of just did, well actually I had to call my bank because of some issues that were going on. So a lot of my prep time was actually spent doing that. And then um, at the end of the day, they asked me to fill in for this teacher who usually does an after school program. And it was super easy. I just watched some kids um, play on the computers and then um, dribble and shoot some basketballs. So it was super, super easy. And um, I got paid for an extra 30 minutes at the end of the day. So that was nice. Yeah, so it was just like, calling the, on the phone the whole prep time and then right after school was the after school program. So yeah, it's been fun doing fifth grade. I really, I enjoy it, but they're also kind of 
chatty but it's also valentine's week and today is actually 40 degrees outside or that's the high anyway so it feels super nice out and overall i just have been trying to be understanding i've been trying to meet the students needs so if they needed some games and stuff today i was trying my best to really do that because they don't have any parties in this grade i guess so i felt kind of sorry for these kids a little bit but yeah i'm just trying to do the best i can for them um yeah so i am going to put in some clips of just a, some of the things we've been doing today um they did earn a computer time I don't know when, but the teacher just said they earned a computer time for today. So they were doing educational math games. And um, I showed you guys some, or I'm going to show you some of the writing samples and everything like that. I'm also making my needed reminders, which I think is really good because one of the students was like, did I make your bad list? And I was like, read what this says. Does this say it's my bad list? No, it just says you needed reminders or more reminders than some of the other students. So, and then I also um, made a thank you list as well. Um, just some of the kids that are just going like kind of above and beyond doing some extra cleaning or just really paying attention or things like that, that I really appreciate. And I was just reminding the students, like I start fresh every day so just because you make my reminders or needed reminders list doesn't mean you're gonna be on it tomorrow, but you could get on it if if that happens. So yeah, um, and honestly, it was a super easy day. It's kind of what the sub life is, is easy days with no planning and you go home and you relax. So can't complain too much about that. I got a couple of little cute valentines, so this little Skittles heart and things like that. And then a super easy gift that I just gave the kids today. I honestly didn't even incorporate because they came. So it was these pencils. So there were, I bought a dog pack and then I bought a Star Wars pack. And they came with little valentines and i didn't even include the valentines i just gave out the pencils and i did that it was super easy um one of the other fifth grade teachers told me that she had students write letters for each other so i thought that was a really good idea instead like just make something more meaningful instead of just going out and buying candy and um yeah, there's not too much more to say. I think I'm gonna end there since I've been talking for like almost five minutes and I will catch you guys tomorrow. I'll update you in, in case anything else happens, but it's been a super easy week so far. I can't complain. <laughs> so, catch you guys tomorrow. Quick before I go today, I just wanted to mention that um, I was reminded that I accidentally called one of our female students a he. I truly thought that she was a he. And um, she ended up telling me that it was fine and it didn't even bother her at all. I totally didn't even re like I honestly didn't even think that she was a he. And I was kind of embarrassed and I'm sure my cheek got all red and everything. But yeah, be careful when you're kind of assuming those genders because you never truly know. Um, so yeah, that was kind of embarrassing for me. And yeah. Um, but it was actually a different student and the female student that I accidentally called a he said it was fine. I apologized after I was like, I'm really sorry, but yeah, be careful what you guys say <laughs> because it could really be embarrassing in front of the whole class. So, but I mean, you never know. And it's really hard to avoid those she and 
wow, he said this, this, this. So just be careful. Make sure you know your students. Um, obviously, as a sub, I don't know these things. But yeah, just something to keep in mind for you guys because I was really embarrassed. And hopefully, you know, for that student, it doesn't like make them upset because I would feel terrible about that. That's why I apologized. And I tried to make things right the best I could, you know, despite the circumstance. <laughs> Happy Thursday, everybody. Um, I'm actually at my prep time. The kids went to music and they have prep time at the end of the day for fifth grade. So I'm just hanging out. Um, I'm actually watching a webinar right now. And this one is called the Bari Coral Presents Yoga and Mindfulness for Children, which um, this is what it looks like. I'm kind of in the middle of it, which I should be paying attention, um, but I just wanted to make a video really quick talking about it. Um, I think it's really good. She's talking about how kids nowadays just have lots of anxiety and um, as they're getting older, they're having more and more anxiety and just ways to kind of help them bring in that yoga, bring in some relaxing music and everything like that, which I love. I'm totally on board with that. Um, so I'm going to keep watching that. We had a fabulous day. I'm really excited to read the students' stories about Valentine's. I have a couple that turned them in. These girls looked like they were working really, really hard. You can see she has a cute little bear on there and um, it says Valentine surprise and they added some characters and things like that so here you can see another one of their drawings and oh I'm so excited to read them they have been working really hard um, some were definitely way more into it than others and it was really cute to just like see them so excited to be working on that so I'm excited to read those. I'm going to go ahead and finish watching this webinar. I have to stay after for a little bit for the thing that I also did on Tuesday. I'm doing it again today. I watch the kids in the computer lab and then they just like play in the gym for 30 minutes. So it should be pretty easy. And yeah, so I will catch you guys tomorrow on Friday, which I'm really sad. I love this class so much. Today was just fabulous, and honestly, I'm a little bit sad to, like, that Friday is my last day in this class, but anywho, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I open, but you cannot block. I think that was. Do you know me? I finished. You just me, but... Happy Friday, everybody. I am still in the fifth grade classroom, and it's very bittersweet to have it be Friday today because it means my last day with these kids and they've been great for 28 kids in a classroom I've honestly had a lot of fun for being fifth graders which I'm really like always nervous about they've been awesome and just working really really hard so that's awesome and I'm really happy I noticed though that during math um, maybe some kids weren't working as much as I had thought because I checked so there's they have like online assignments that they turn in and there was a good portion of kids who didn't even some didn't even do it others were pretty close to finishing so they were like all in the middle but then there were tons that got it done I they have 28 kids and each one had I don't know five to and some of them had ten but some students are exempt from it so I don't know <laughs> but it's lunchtime right now and it's been a little bit crazy I think because it's Friday and they know like they have a long weekend and everything like that so it's been a little bit crazy but I'm trying really hard to just like still be fun I decided to do a Kahoot today because there was an assembly and it kind of like screwed up the whole schedule so um, I did a, 
I did one just like general trivia and then I did one for Black History Month so I just searched those fifth grade trivia was the first one and then um, I just searched up history trivia and it came up with the black history and I was like February's black history month we should do it so it was fun we learned a lot too so that's really cool and yeah so I'll insert a clip of that for you guys otherwise I'm planning to upload this tonight as long as there you know there's no issues or technical things that happen to me <laughs> while I'm in that process so yeah um I'll kind of just, I think I'll try to film a little bit while kids are reading their stories, but otherwise I'll just kind of fill you in at prep time and then it'll be the weekend and it will be my climb. So I'm super excited and yeah, so I'll catch you guys later and hopefully I'll be able to insert a little bit of the writing too. I know I sobbed. What's the matter? Asked Mr. Buggy. I left my valentines at my house little piggy sobbed more it took me forever to make them well i'm sorry to say but i am already late i can't drive back i cried a little more or a boat in the yeah yeah exactly yeah so how old are they like 10 or 11 they can't really exactly say their age in there i was curious too i thought that would be interesting what they their culture considers old enough to be married so that clip you saw right before was actually a parent who does a thing called Art Adventure, which I thought was really cool. They have the parent go to the Minneapolis Institute of Art, and she takes pictures of different art pieces, learns a little bit about them, and then shows them on the smart board to the kids, and they just kind of talk about it and the important history behind it and everything like that and it was really cool i really really like that i highly recommend um if you're not able to bring kids to the art institute then you can bring the art institute to them which i thought was amazing um otherwise it was a great day uh the kids all said goodbye to me because they leave right from specialist and everything like that and despite being a little bit crazy for a friday they are awesome and I'm and I'm really sad that I won't get to spend any more time with them. When they were reading their stories, they were awesome. I loved the stories so much. Like that is just kind of the stuff that brings me a lot of joy. So yeah, I'm gonna end there. I'll try to include something about the big climb this weekend if I can. Um, otherwise, I will catch you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you guys do like this video, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It just helps it reach other people and other teachers who can use the different things that I have or like use my experiences in their own teaching, hopefully, um, or just get some entertainment out of it. And if you want to see more, you can go ahead and subscribe if you want. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.